Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all keeping well. So I recently had a great day out uh, up in London uh, to see the Royal Observatory at, at Greenwich and it was all thanks to my good friend Simon who had some tickets to go and he invited me uh, as, a, as a guest and uh, I couldn't refuse and it was a really, really nice day. Um, we saw the Royal Observatory, the great equatorial uh, scope, we saw the planetarium and one of the really nice things we went to as well was the galleries there for the amateur astrophotographer competition and there were some amazing images in there and it was really nice to see. It was also good actually that there was a couple of names I recognised, people that I've either spoken to or messaged with and uh, it was really nice to see their work. I didn't see my name anywhere um, but I think I need to enter the contest for that to happen. As I said, I had a great day out and it was all thanks to Simon. Uh, Simon is an astrophotographer and also a YouTuber. Um, he's done some really nice work and also an amazing observatory build. So it's definitely worth checking out. I've put a link in my description below to Simon's Astro. So if you give that a click, go on there, give him a like, give him a subscribe. I know that he would really appreciate the support. So enjoy the footage that's coming up of a day out in uh, London uh, to the Royal Observatory. If you ever get a chance to go, you should, because it's definitely worth seeing. Um, but at least you can get an idea of what's there through this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I shall speak to you soon. So my name's Glenn, you're watching Astro Bloke. <laughs>
Amsterdam is 4 degrees, Greenwich is 0, this is 0 degrees, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Brilliant. Stand over there, so I'm going to do a meridian flip. How do I do a meridian flip? Well, you've got to go from east to west, don't you? Ready? How's that? Nice, smooth. <laughs> Location. 0, 0. O five 5 to the west, <laughs> let me just get it, just goes to show it's not as accurate as you want it to be, doesn't it, eh? That should say naught, naught, naught. So why did my phone not show zero degrees when I was standing on the meridian? Well, simple explanation was this was set in 1884, and since then it's been updated. So in 1988, a whole new set of coordinates were used based upon data from satellites, and that defined a plane that passed straight through the centre of the Earth. And this is now known as the IRM, or the International Reference Meridian. And it's basically 102.5 metres to the east of the historic Prime Meridian line, which I'm standing at. So that's the explanation. Basically, time's moved on, technology's moved on, and uh, they wanted it to be a little bit more accurate. So, there you go. I've learned something today. Anyway, going to carry on with the trip. Hope you're enjoying it. Yeah, so the Queen's house is projected off a mirror on the ceiling onto a table below, Simon. And we should be able to see it on the table. I wonder if the camera will pick it up. Find out in a minute. Simon, I think there's a resemblance there. You could be a Herschel, mate. Do you think so? Yeah, I do. I'm not sure if it's William Herschel or... Um, Caroline Herschel. But it's definitely one of them. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. And we are, oh, oh. Harrison's first timekeeper. You're not wearing that on your wrist, are you? Oh, there's a clock face. <laughs> this is Harrison's second watch. Harrison's second watch. I bet they took some building now. I'll tell you, look at that. It's intricate. George the second. Wow. 
So that must be four times. Do you reckon? What do you reckon? Is that what you're going for? So. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was really a bit obvious, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Getting more and more ornate, aren't they? Oh, hang on. Hang on, another one. Ooh. First pocket watch. <laughs> Yeah, it's his fourth time piece. Wow, he's, he's going up and over. Thank you. Mm. 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 Mm.